The Missy Entrepreneurship Prize competition was created to really inspire students to support a culture of entrepreneurship and to understand that the things that they build can have real impact in the marketplace and in the world at large. MEPC empowers our students through a series of workshops. The workshops are a great chance for the teams to hear and learn from each other, as well as to work with both mentors and instructors. It gives them the tools to engage in customer discovery, to really understand their customers in the marketplace. So they go out into the marketplace, they learn some things by asking questions. And a lot of times they come back and they realize that their initial target market, one, doesn't exist or is completely different from what they initially thought. And then everyone goes and does it again. It's a highly iterative process so that the teams are always refining their models based on what they're learning both in the classroom and outside the classroom. The teams are competing for a couple of things. One is the chance to present to a panel of angel and venture investors. And the finalist teams all do that. They all present the problem that they're solving, how they're solving it, and why it's important to solve it today. The second thing they're competing for is the money. They're interested in the $50,000 grand prize and $25,000 in legal services. So the judges get together, they determine the final team, and we are grateful for their support to help us identify who has the best chance of launching a business in the short term. And that team is, and I'm probably not going to say it right, a Perion. <laughs> So the way you pronounce the name of our company is Appearin. Appearin means limitless in Greek. This technology could have limitless impact on the world. So natural gas currently does not burn cleanly. It still produces a significant amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So we have developed this technology that is able to make natural gas zero emission. We take all the carbon from the content of natural gas and make that into a very valuable byproduct called graphene. Graphene is one atom thick carbon material. It's 200 times stronger than steel, it's transparent, and it's also the most conductive material on Earth. So how this technology works specifically is that we're taking methane, which is a major component of natural gas, and methane is made of carbon and hydrogen. As we give the system enough energy, the carbon breaks away from the hydrogen and it gets deposited on a piece of copper foil. And so that forms graphene. And the rest of the hydrogen gets sucked out of the chamber and will be used for clean energy generation. When we use hydrogen for energy, there is no emission and only product is water. When I was a child growing up in China, I witnessed a lot of environmental degradations. There would be days when I couldn't see the building across from my own because the smog was so bad. And I think right now the biggest challenge that we face as a human race is climate change. Because in the future for next generation, there is not going to be clean air and water. So uh, we are trying to uh, address this issue with our technology and that's why uh, we are working on that to uh, change the world.